Hello everybody, it's Miss Sue Ann with the University City Public Library and I'm here with a dance and play story time today. So, dance and play is singing and reading and some songs and maybe a little dancing in the end. So before we start, how about we start with a good singing song. Are you ready? Come along and sing with me, sing with me, sing with me. Come along and sing with me at this happy story time. Come along and clap with me, clap with me, clap with me. Come along and clap with me at this happy story time. Come along and march with me, march with me, march with me. Come along and march with me at this happy story time. Come along and wave with me, wave with me, wave with me. Come along and wave with me at this happy story time. Hello, can you wave hello? That's a good way to start the story time. How about wiggling thumbs? My thumbs are starting to wiggle. My thumbs are starting to wiggle. My thumbs are starting to wiggle. Around and around and around. My fingers are starting to wiggle. My fingers are starting to wiggle. My fingers are starting to wiggle. Around and around and around. My hands are starting to wiggle. My hands are starting to wiggle. My hands are starting to wiggle around and around and around. My arms are starting to wiggle. My arms are starting to wiggle. My arms are starting to wiggle around and around and around. My feet are starting to wiggle. My feet are starting to wiggle. My feet are starting to wiggle around and around and around. My legs are starting to wiggle. My legs are starting to wiggle. My legs are starting to wiggle around and around and around. My body is starting to wiggle. My body is starting to wiggle. My body is starting to wiggle. Around and around and around. Whew! Have you wiggled enough? Maybe we'll do one more thing before we get ready to start our story. Can you put your hands way up? Hands go up and hands go down. I can move my hands around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit, I'll show you how. Story time is starting now. Okay, very good job. Have you figured out what today's story time is going to be about? I've got them everywhere. They're everywhere. On my shirt and on the table, dragons! We're going to have delightful dragons for our story time today. And my little pink dragon friend here can fly. Fly, fly, dragon, fly. Fly, fly, dragon, fly. Fly, fly, dragon, fly. Way up in the sky. Hop, hop, dragon, hop, hop. Hop, dragon, hop, 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 dragon, hop, stop, dragon, stop. Turn, turn, dragon, turn, 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 dragon, turn, 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 dragon, turn, sit, dragon, sit. Are we ready now? I have a story that I really like. It is called, Do Not Bring Your Dragon 
to the library. Now, we have lots of things here at our library here in University City, but we don't have real dragons. Might be a bit of a mess. Our story, Do Not Bring Your Dragon to the Library, was written by the author Julie Gassman. So let's visit the library and see what happens if a dragon comes. Ooh, well there's lots of dragons outside of this library. Do not bring your dragon to the library. When you visit the library, please keep in mind, no running, no shouting, to all books be kind. But there's one rule that's bigger than the rest, and it must be followed by all of our guests. Do not bring your dragon to the library. Oh my goodness, look at the librarian. Mm -hmm. A dragon is sometimes a very rude beast. At story time, he'll take up ten spaces at least. A dragon's big bottom can pack a real punch. Each time he sits down, you'll hear a great crunch. Ooh. So do not bring your dragon to the library. You may ask her to come to a library show, but trouble will start with the first song she knows. Her swaying hips will crowd your space with a dragon jig that has no grace. So do not bring your dragon to the library. What a mess. Maybe you're thinking, don't worry, it's fine. There's plenty of space in that library of mine. Perhaps that's true, but he's sure to roam. Then you'll be wishing you had left him at home. So, ooh, do not bring your dragon to the library. You see, Aisles of books are hard to resist. She's sure to find sections that cannot be missed. As she starts to read, she could overexcite. And then chances are, her flame will ignite. Her flame is her fire. Uh-oh. So, do not bring your dragon to the library. I know, I know, what you're saying is true, but leaving him home will make me quite blue. It's my favorite place. Please listen to me. My dragon would love our library. Movies and computers and places to read, tales of heroes and adventure, of good and of greed, cookbooks and bios, oh, listen to my plea. May I please bring my dragon to the library? Does she look like she's thinking about it? I don't know. The dragon looks kind of sad. I think he wants to come. I'm afraid, my kind friend, I cannot agree. A dragon in the library? It simply can't be. But fret, don't fret, don't frown. I have a solution. Listen to my smart substitution. Your dragon should not miss the library treasures. Just bring home some books for her reading pleasure. If you use your card often, you will very soon see. You can bring your library card. That you never have to bring your dragon to the library. Because you can take the books home for The end of Do Not Bring Your Dragon to the Library. We want you to come to the library when you can. So, our next dragon story. It's not very long, but it's kind of fun. This is called, Who Wants a Dragon? 
Do you want a dragon? Do you want a dragon that's that cute? Look at it, it's cute. Who wants a dragon? The author of Who Wants a Dragon is James Mayhew. Who wants a dragon? Well, there's the dragon looking up at the stars all alone. Who wants a dragon? Who wants a dragon? All fiery and bright. A lost baby dragon? Alone in the night? Who wants a dragon? This witch in a hat? A dragon is much more fun than a cat. But dragons are not best, the best thing for a broom. They're bigger than cats and there's not enough room. Who wants a dragon? This knight, brave and bold? How could he leave him outside in the cold? But inside his helmet, the knight's in a fright. He's certain the dragon will give him a bite. Does that dragon look like it would bite? He's frightened. Who wants a dragon? This sleepy princess? Look out, though. He's got muddy paws on her dress. Poor little dragon all in a muddle. There must be someone who will give you a cuddle. Who wants a dragon? This king or his queen? Oh no! They're hiding. These two are nowhere to be seen. Nobody wants him. Not even this fairy. Everyone seems to think he's too scary. There must be someone somewhere out there who'd cuddle a dragon with love to spare. Poor little dragon, alone in the night. But look, here comes someone who'll love him just right. His mommy. She'll cuddle him and kiss him and help him sleep tight. The end. Would you like to take that cute dragon home with you? I think that one looks sweet enough you could take home. So are you ready for a little music? A little dancing dragon music? Let's see. I like dancing to dancing for. I like dancing to the day is done. Come dance with me. Come dancing with me. Come dancing with me. Come dancing with me. this dragon story time and we're going to say goodbye till next time and enjoy your books. I like dancing